Hello and welcome everybody. This is another short review of a new feature in Dynamics 365 version 10.0.29. This one is called Match the Details for Vendor Invoices. Once you enable that feature, we will navigate and check the parameters that became available. We will navigate to AP, parameters right here. Go to Invoice Validation, and now we see that under Invoice Total Matching, which is enabled, we see separate categories for the subtotal, total, discount, charges, sales tax, and invoice amounts. And for each, we can enable the matching, then specify whether the greater than or the greater or less than tolerances would be included, and then specify a tolerance percentage for each of those categories. Just for the reference, this is how the invoice validation for the totals looks like prior version 10.0.29. So what I'll do for this demonstration is I set up a subtotal amount matching. And in this case, it's either greater than or less than the tolerance. And the tolerance that I specified here is 0%. So we're looking for an exact match on the subtotal amount for that vendor invoice. I also enable the charges and sales tax matching. I'm only looking for the amounts that are greater than, and for this charges, I have 10% that I'm allowing to go over and 50% for the sales tax. Now let's see it in action. For this demonstration, I'll use this purchase order. Let's take a look at the totals. The subtotal is $10 right here. That's one unit at $10 each. Uh, then we see 10 cents charges here, which is 1% of the subtotal. And we see a calculated tax amount of 87 cents. Now let's generate a vendor invoice. Right now we see the matching is not performed. We can click on update match status. We see that we have a pass because the invoice version, that draft invoice version that we just created matches the purchase order exactly. Now we can change the unit price from $10, $10, one cent. And we see that the match status has been turned to failed. If you would like to see details, click on review, matching details, invoice totals right here, and then invoice totals matching details. We see that we have failed on the subtotal. So we have variance of 10% where zero is allowed. If we change the amount to less than $10, for example, $9.99, we would also have a failed matching status because our subtotals looking for the greater than or less than the amount that we expect. So that's the subtotal matching. Let's change the unit price back to $10 it resets our status to pass. Now let's take a look at the charges. So here I have a 10 cent charge calculated. Let's just modify that. Click on maintain charges here on the invoice line. Here's our 1% charge. And remember, we allow 10% over on our charges matching. So if we, for example, go to 1.1% update match status, we see that we're still within that 10% tolerance. But if we change that charge, percentage to 1.2, which is 20% over, we see that it is now failed. Okay, let's reset it back to original 1%. And finally, let's take a look at the sales tax calculation. So we see that our sales tax amount is 87 cents. If I modify a sales tax group for my invoice line from Colorado to let's say Texas right here, click yes, we're still in pass zone. If we look at the totals, we see that the sales tax amount was calculated as $1.26, which is still within 50% overage that we allow based on the tolerance for the sales tax that we have defined. If on the other hand, we're gonna change sales tax group to let's say California, we are now failing the invoice validation. And if we look at the details, we see that we are 150% over our expected amount of 87 cents. All right, let's go back to an invoice. Let's put it back to CEO. I want to show you one more thing. If you change the tax amount directly, not via change of the item sales tax group or the sales tax group, unfortunately, we're not gonna get the same result. So if you click on financials, sales tax, we see that the amount calculated here is 87 cents and the actual amount is 87 cents. But if I change it to a much larger amount, let's say $10 right here, which should put us over the tolerance of that 50%, close that window and update the match status again. Unfortunately, that change does not result in the sales tax validation fail. It still shows us as a pass, which I find is a gap in the current functionality, but this is a new feature and I bet that it will get improved over time. 
The interesting thing here is if you look at the matching details, invoice totals, and then invoice totals matching details, we see that that $10 puts us over 1000% of 87 cents that we expect and the result is failed. But for whatever reason, our invoice still shows here as passed. That is all I wanted to show to you today. Until the next time, take care.